to be banter with Odi. I keep saying this every time because hi and welcome back to Banter with Odi because this particular video is like a call for help. So I'm going to tell you guys the seven things that pharmacists do not like to be told. Yes. First one, Chineke. Don't come up all into my pharmacy and ask me, yeah, anti nurse or nurse. I mean, this is like common with female pharmacists, yeah. I am not a nurse. I am not a. I am not even an anti. I am not anti nurse. Don't call me anti nurse. Why? Why do you look at me and think I am a nurse? I mean, no shade to the nursing profession. Actually, they are actually noble people that do great things for the healthcare system. But don't call me anti nurse. Like basically, you guys do that all the time. I wonder why you people do that. Patients, everybody. You call, you walk into a. It's not a nursing school. It is not a nursing clinic. It is not a nursing home. You walk into a pharmacy and you call me anti nurse. Kosenia, stop it. Number two thing that you guys do is you come into a pharmacy, <laughs> you see me all packed up, you know. I've I on my, my word code for the day, I'm wearing my name tag, and I'm sitting there smiling at you, and you ask me, who is the pharmacist? How, why why are you gonna do that to me? Like I'm sitting right there and you ask me who's the pharmacist. People that experience this, pharmacists that experience this actually are those that are small like me. I'm like, oh I am sir to your rescue. And he's like, oh, are you sure? How many years did you go to pharmacy school for? How many years did you are you sure you finished to eat with the I didn't finish and I'm sitting here, I'm sitting down here. Stop it. Third thing that we don't like to be told or asked. <laughs> this goes out to both male and female pharmacists actually. Can I have your number? 99.99% of the time, we give you the pharmacy number because don't disturb me. We give you the pharmacy number so in case you have any questions, you call the pharmacy and the pharmacy answers you most times you guys come with oh can i have your number so just in case i need to have a, any advice on any drug i can call you meanwhile in another agenda in meanwhile in another hidden agenda you want to call me and tell me how are you can i take you out on the lunch can i take you out on a dinner something can i can we do brunch i mean it's not bad but just say it. Let me have your number so I can take you out for lunch. If I say, oh, sure, I don't, I don't mind. I know, I don't mind to eat. Sure, not come and tell me. Let me have your number because I need to ask some questions on some drugs. And we now, with the good heart in us, we give you our number. And you now say, can I, can I come and see you sometime? Don't do it. Stay in your house. Yeah, be straightforward. I mean, this is twenty twenty. Be straightforward. Oh, I like you. Can I be your friend? Let me have your number. We we'll give it to you. Take it. Please stop saying, can I have your number for consultation? Well, we know you're not going to ask me for any drug consultation. Number four thing that we don't like to be told. But we don't like this particular thing. You walk into the pharmacy. Pick chewing gum. You pick shaving stick. You pick sweets. You pick then you come forward leaning and you tell me give me condom <laughs> i mean we, we get the fact that you're trying to be responsible come forward and just buy the condom we don't judge anybody honestly saying this pharmacists do not actually judge you we actually give you kudos because you are coming in and you are buying a contraceptive yeah but then don't come and be doing you pick gums, you pick share talks, then you lean in, give me condom, stop it. We see you as being responsible, not coming in to tell me, eh, fam, it be like say I want come on something. Don't do that, that's what the worst I'll ever try. I'm sorry. But when, when you come in, boldly go and pick your condom, okay, white jelly, Samsung oil, we won't judge you. Number five thing that we do not like to be told or asked, don't come up into a pharmacy 
and ask me, where is the doctor? <laughs> Go to the hospital. <laughs> you're like, you've not heard doctor pharmacy rivalry. You've not heard it, right? This is the first time you're hearing it, right? Don't call me a doctor. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. I'm a pharmacist. As men of honor, if we join hands, please don't come up into my pharmacy, into my personal, my personal space. Don't come up into my personal. I want you guys to see my hair. Don't come up into my personal space and ask me, where is the doctor? I'm not a doctor. If I had a penny for every time throughout this quarantine period and throughout this COVID period or the lockdown, I was going to work and people stopped me. If I had a penny for every time they called me doctor, I would build housing. Mitama. And by now, I should be laying foundation. Number six thing that we do not like to be told or asked. Yes, this one goes out to our fellow pharmacists, like colleague. This is from a colleague's heart to another colleague's heart. Dearest colleague, don't call me fam. I don't like kids. Don't like, I, don't, I don't know, but call me my name. Don't be calling me fam when you are also a fam. But I understand where normal people are calling me fam. Yes, they don't know my name, fam. Or be like, tell me, excuse me, hey, hi, can I, I'm, I'm a pharmacist. I'm like, oh yeah, we bond. Don't come, don't wake up one morning and just be calling me fam. This thing is very annoying. A colleague at work, she honestly doesn't do that intentionally. So she calls me fam. I smile, but I'm pissed off. Don't call me fam, fam. Don't do that, fam. I don't know about the rest, but a good number of us don't like it. Seventh thing and the last thing that we do not like to be told or asked. This one is the one that is actually the killer. Gonna hit the nail on the head. Every time, I know there are some people that when they call me, I know they want to ask for an advice. And whenever I see their call, I'm like, oh. I'm being honest here, guys. I'm not even playing. If you're going to call me every time, asking for consultation, asking for advice, asking for... To be honest, I really don't even like to do consultation over the phone. You don't ever call me to ask me, Fam, Odi, please send your account number. Tell me I to get some money. He need me this weekend. Yeah, he may enjoy it. that shoe, he like it. No! Bobuna, hello fam. My chest is doing me so. Hello, Odi. Do you know what I can take? My shoulder. Hello, Odi. It's like I woke up with one side of my head. It's banging here. Odi. What can I take? It's like the place they gave me injection is pinning me. You will not ever call or pick up your phone. Eh? And say, hello, Odi. You know what? I know you've been stressed throughout the week. I mean, attending to like 100 people in a day. Come on, take this 100k and have fun. Hello, fam. I just uh, bought a land in Kusapi and I want you to have all the documents in Wakalo. Do more of that. Make more of those calls. I need chair. We are waiting. Me. I don't know about them. Me, I'm waiting for it. Yeah. So, these are the seven things that. We that, 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 that just came to my head that I, I honestly do not like and I know that my fellow colleagues don't like it also these are the 7 things that we really don't like to be told thank you guys for watching this video and I know you found it helpful don't do it to that pharmacist again do better, be better eh? like this video subscribe, share, comment let me know pharmacists out there that are gonna watch this, let me know what other things you wouldn't like to be told in your pharmacy, in your at, at your premise? Let me know, you know, and just put it down there. Let's just see, let's just banter, let's just laugh and all correct a lot of notions. Thank you guys and have a fantastic, fantastic day. Bye guys. Hey, hey, hey.